You know, African Americans have a complicated relationship with our national parks, and it's a resource that we just haven't taken advantage of. That's what drew me to Ranger Shelton Johnson from Yosemite. We've had several conversations, and he is probably the foremost authority on the Buffalo Soldiers and their role as the first park rangers in many of the national parks out west. He also loves to talk about how we should be enjoying the national parks just like every other American because it's a resource that belongs to us. What are we missing about the national parks, especially people of color? There's so much negativity associated with the experience of being on the land as a direct result of slavery that we tend to avoid the experience of being on the land. We avoid the experience of, of being in the wilderness. But when we go back into those spaces, we're literally, as John Mayer would put it, or maybe Malcolm X would put it too, we're going home. <laughs> you know, it is a homecoming because we are Africans in America. You know, it's interesting that you mentioned there's that that tension with going into the woods always has been yeah. or getting lost in the yeah. woods and it's a bad place to go as an african-american and slavery has a lot to do with that experience and we have to keep that in mind our people going out into the mountains going into the forest is reclaiming that which is african you can find that which was african in america because all you need is the natural world around you this is something that Ranger Johnson helped me understand, too, is that the national parks belong to us, everybody that belongs to this country, correct? Mm -hmm. That's absolutely correct. I grew up as an inner city kid in Detroit, Michigan in the 1960s, and no park ranger ever sh showed up at my doorstep and said, hi, I'm here to let you know that uh, you are an owner of America's best idea. You have an inheritance that is incalculable. You are wealthy. And that never happened. That never happened. But if you own the Grand Canyon, if you own Yosemite, if you own Sequoia National Park as a citizen of this country, your wealth is immeasurable. And that cultural inheritance was never told to me, even though it is an inheritance that has been given to all American citizens, especially, particularly African Americans who are at the beginning of the whole national park idea with the soldiers, Buffalo soldiers protecting Yosemite and Sequoia. For more on visiting the national parks, visit TravelCoterie.com and search National Parks.